Thank you, Jor, for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, I don't know about you, but this year has felt just a little rough to say the least. 2020 has felt like one never-ending emotional roller coaster. But on the good days, I was able to sit and really think about what makes a good day a good day so that I can try to have more good days. And that is what I wanted to share with you. So here are 10 ways to stay sane in 2020. Number one, morning stretches or stretching anytime during the day. Get your blood flowing and put your mind at ease. I found stretching helps me focus on being more present, which is very important when you're unsure of the future. But you could also try meditation. I'm sure that works really well also. <laughs> Weekly FaceTimes or phone calls. It's easy to feel neglected by friends and family when your social life has gone down the tube. But if you block out a couple hours a week for fun FaceTimes, you'll feel as social as ever. You may also want to think of friends and family members you haven't talked to in a while. By calling them, you might make their day. And yours too. <laughs> Cook new recipes. Now is the time to make use of the kitchen and buy the spices you've never tried. My favorite food inspirations are from things I used to order at restaurants or things I find on YouTube. It may not taste the same, probably won't, but it's fun to try. Number four, journal. I've tried to nightly journal a handful of times, but always end up with nothing to write about until I started nightly journaling with Jor. Jor is a guided therapeutic journaling app for iOS designed to help people feel happier and healthier. Using science-backed methods proven to encourage positive thinking, alleviate stress and anxiety, as well as increase focus and productivity. With personalized guided questions, you can journal anytime, anywhere. You can even set up notifications so you don't forget. By adding Jor to my nightly routine, it helps me clear my mind and think more more positively. There's even an insight tab that shows you how you've been doing and feeling and helps you reflect. Because I go to bed at 1 a.m., it says good morning, but disregard that. The emotion that best describes me right now is happy. I feel happy mainly because of my friends. Next drawer will ask me three questions to dive me deeper into why I feel happy about friends, who's someone I can compliment, and what's a compliment I can give myself. These questions change every day and depend on my previous answers. Next is a calming guided breathing session. With positive notes and things to keep in mind. Ending with a handful of more guided questions. Tonight, mine are all about deepening friendships. Make sure to use my personal link below to enjoy 33% off your yearly subscription. Number five, redecorate. While you might feel trapped in your house, you can always change things up by redecorating different areas of your space or get to revamps you've been putting off, like me, all the time, honestly. You can find these temporary sticky wallpapers online to add new life to any room. You can also keep an eye on Facebook Marketplace instead of buying something new. Reduce, reuse, recycle, you guys, come on. Number six, create a movie or show schedule. This will not only help separate your days, but you'll give yourself set times to watch new or old stuff. This will not only separate your days, but you'll give yourself set times to watch new or old stuff. My roommates and I keep a board of stuff we want to watch separately and together. By watching shows on Wednesdays and a movie every Friday night, we can look forward to something all together. Number seven, face masks. Please, please, please give yourself some spa days. Get out all the face masks your friend gave you last year and relax. Your skin will thank you and you get to clear out your skincare shelf. Number eight, read. Whether you're a fan of reading or not, we all have books laying around. Pick one up, choose a comfy spot, and set a 30 minute timer on your phone. It might feel like fifth grade homework, but it's important to read more than Instagram descriptions all day. Number nine, get your favorite food. There's a no better time to treat yourself. I like to only order things that I can't cook myself or haven't learned how to make yet. Support your local restaurants and give yourself a break. And number 10, game nights. 
puzzles, board games, card games, video games, set a couple nights a month for small family or close friend game nights. Laugh and problem solve while making fun memories with those you love. You can also play games online, which can be just as fun. But what are some of your favorite things to do right now? Leave some comments down below with some mental health tips and tricks that you've been using. And thank you again, Jor, for sponsoring this video. Download the Jor app and enjoy 33% off your yearly subscription with my links down below. Have a nice day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!